come today to the Kaolack Tsunami Memorial Park um, and as you can imagine the environment is quite sombre it's, um, and quite shocking really. They've got a lot of photos of what happened in 2004 and Kaolack was very badly hit by the tsunami. Um, really, it's really sad actually. Uh, the boat was pulled in land by two kilometres, um, which represents the force of the wave. Um, and 8,000 people died. So, you know, if you're in Kaolack, um, come here. It's uh, you know, a, a point of reflection. You can give a donation to help with the rebuild. Um, but what's great to see really is how Kaolack has rebuilt the community so well uh, since 2004. Uh, but yeah, very, very sad. Lots of people should come and see, I think. So after this morning, we're having a little reflective walk down the beach before going to explore a bit more about how Kalak has rebuilt itself. We're going to go and see Bang Yang Market. busiest market that we've been to so far um, but good lots of food lots of drinks lots of shopping I bought myself a mango bean it's open from about three o'clock till 11 I think three o'clock would be very hot so we got here about seven and uh, yeah it's all happening so go and have a little look around Unless you're here for a few days and you can come Monday, Wednesday and Saturday. That's good. So fresh. 
Ooh, one second. Absolutely delightful. Um, I think the difference between this and what you get kind of in the UK, that this is so much lighter. <laughs> Insight, that was. <laughs> mm, we know, we know. Had Thai dinner. <laughs> what have we got here? Now, if Waitrose did crab crisps whole, I'd be there every week. Little crabby crisps. Whole thing. <laughs> oh God, you hurt yourself now. <laughs> <laughs> We're here in Kalmak City. I'm back after eight years and really happy to see the monkey bar Kalmak still open and bigger and better than ever before. So here's a little snippet of what it's like. You've got to come in. Oh, big one. Woo! 